Sometimes you have to unapologetically get rid of some things, people and situations that no longer belong in the new season of your life. This is because you are in your new season. You might be bargaining by saying, Whoa well, Lord if I could just stay with him a little bit longer things could get better and he could change. Many of us have two eyes. And we still can't see that some people don't belong in our lives despite how these people have been showing you who they truly are. You keep giving excuses for them. God sends us bold signs and wonders what we'll chose to make out of them. Sometimes he expects us to change our environment and our surroundings so we can reach the ultimate level of being blessed. And if you're going to reach your destiny, you have to learn to kiss things and people goodbye. You're not going to understand everything that happens. People may walk away from you. Life may not turn out the way you thought. But you have to let go and move on with your life. Are there people in your life pulling you back yet you're unwilling to walk away from them? What you're unwilling to walk away from is where you'll get stuck. If you don't kiss the wrong people goodbye, you'll never meet the right people. And if someone is not adding value to your life, making you better, and pushing you toward your destiny, then you need to make a change. And sometimes it's just a new season. The friends you had five years ago may not be the friends you need now. Everybody can't go where you're going. It doesn't mean they're not good people. You've just outgrown them. You're going at a faster pace. If you continue hanging around them, it will limit your growth. Did you get that? I will say it again. Everybody can't go where you're going. And if you continue hanging around them, it will limit your growth. Sometimes we're waiting for God to change things but God is waiting for us to make a decision. You have to put your foot down and say I am not coming into my new season in life with old thinking. I am kissing the chip on my shoulder goodbye. I'm kissing the guilt goodbye. I'm kissing a barely get by mentality goodbye. When you kiss it goodbye, this means in your mind you're putting an end to it. You're saying this addiction is not going to control me anymore. I am free. Well I've made a lot of mistakes. Yes, but I've kissed them goodbye. I am not living in regrets or beating myself up. I am forgiven and I am redeemed. I'm wearing a robe of righteousness. You've always been in dysfunction because that's how you were raised. You've always been hot-tempered and angry. Yes, that's how you were raised but that's not who you are. You need to kiss that goodbye. You need to put an end to what's been passed down. I'm breaking the generational curse. And I'm starting the generational blessing. You need to announce to that dysfunction, that mediocrity, that depression, that bitterness, and anger, I'm kissing you goodbye. I won't be seeing you anymore. We are parting ways. Hate to say it that I'm not gonna miss you. Kiss loneliness goodbye. Father thank you that you have somebody awesome already headed my way. Thank you that the right person is chasing me down. Goodbye to lack, struggle and not having enough. You were in my yesterday. But sorry you're not in my today. Father thank you that I will lend and not borrow. Thank you that whatever I touch will prosper and succeed. Hallelujah. Maybe you need to kiss goodbye to the way you see yourself. Inferior. Unattractive. Not a good personality. And not talented enough. Kiss that wrong self-image goodbye because victory starts in your thinking. Abundance and health and freedom starts in our mind. You can't think the same way and expect different results. Start embracing who God says you are. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are a masterpiece. You have been crowned with favor. You have royal blood flowing through your veins. Nobody in this world has your same fingerprints and you didn't come up in a semblance. You are an original and one of a kind made in the image of Almighty God. I wonder where you could be at this time next year if you'd start kissing things goodbye. Kiss the offense goodbye and quit letting people hurt your feelings. Quit letting what they say ruin your day. Tune it out. They have a right to say what they want and you have a right to ignore it. You shouldn't let that get down in your spirit. Maybe with joy you are praying that these people at work will quit talking about you. I don't want to discourage you but they may never quit talking about you. They are jealous of the favor and blessing on your life. Take it as a compliment. They don't talk about average people. They only talk about exceptional people. They don't talk about people that aren't doing anything. They only talk about people that are taking new ground and people that are making a difference. I mean people that stand out. It's a test. God is seeing if you're ready to go to the next level. Are you going to get upset and bitter? And then start thinking about how you're going to pay them back. 
Or are you going to kiss it goodbye and keep running your race and enjoying your life in Christ? Choose wisely. Those adversaries are getting you prepared for your destiny. There will be opposition, critics and people trying to pull you down where you're going. The good news is, no weapon formed against you will prosper. They cannot stop you because the forces that are for you are greater than the forces that are against you. Stay on the high road and stay focused on what God has put in your heart. You don't have time to get distracted by all the negative chatter. What people think about you is none of your business. What they're saying shouldn't concern you. There will always be somebody that doesn't like you. All you need to do is to kiss it goodbye and keep moving forward. Now there may be some relationships you need to kiss goodbye. And I'm not talking about your husband or your wife. Your time is too valuable to spend it with peace stealers and people that try to get you all riled up. Or with dream killers and people that tell you what you can't become. Or with compromisers. And people that cause you to give in to temptation. Naomi's daughter-in-law Orpa wasn't necessarily a bad person. In fact, she was a good person. Naomi's loved her. And they had spent years together. But Naomi recognized that Orpa's part in her story was over. She didn't try to talk her into staying. If someone is supposed to be in your life you can't make them leave. And if someone leaves easily, they're not supposed to be there. So quit trying to talk people into staying. You don't have to convince anyone to love you, to call you or to come see you. You are a gift and you are a prize. You have something amazing to offer. So if they don't want to be there, that's a sure sign that they're not supposed to be there. God has already ordained people who can't leave you. People that want to celebrate you. People that love spending time with you. If somebody wants to leave let them leave. Your destiny is not tied to the people that walked away. Be respectful but kiss the Orpah's goodbye. God told Abraham to leave his relatives and move to a different city. I'm sure he loved his relatives. For a season everything was fine. But when God was about to promote Abraham and do something big in his life, he knew his relatives and the people where he lived wouldn't be able to handle it. The people closest to you may not see the greatness in you. When they're familiar they can dismiss you as just being ordinary. Sometimes you have to kiss people goodbye so you can become all you were created to be. Don't let people talk you out of what God put in your heart. When you come to the end of life you're not going to have to stand before people and give an account. You're going to stand before God. I would rather disappoint people than disappoint God. I would rather hurt a few feelings than to miss my destiny. Is there something or someone you need to kiss goodbye? A hurt or a bad attitude? Or maybe an area that you're compromising in? It doesn't belong to your future, the Apostle Paul said. Forgetting what lies behind, I press to the high calling. If there's a high calling, that means there's a low calling. You can go through life holding on to hurts and wrong attitudes with people that are not good for you. But that will keep you from new levels and from the high calling that belongs to you. It's time to start kissing things goodbye. Kiss that failure goodbye because this is a new day. Kiss guilt goodbye because you've been forgiven. Kiss the bad break goodbye because God has something better. If you'll do this, I believe and declare that you're about to come into the high calling and the new doors are going to open. Yes new relationships and favor, healing and breakthroughs as well as the fullness of your destiny in Jesus name. Amen.